everyone. Today we're going to be looking at our Bricks PLC and writing our first program into the controller. So the first thing we'll do is we'll actually start a new project. So I've called up the software here. We are not connected yet to our, our controller. So we'll start new. And there's a number of selections we can do. Um, we it, Because we know exactly what we have um, communicated to, we could select that right now. However, what I'm going to do is do the simulator. And the reason why is a lot of times what we will do is do a simulation of what we're doing first and then we'll control we'll uh, transfer that program down into the controller that we're working with so we'll just say okay so here's my simulation I have my dashboard and our programming all starts from the main um, program right here and what we'll do is we'll do our stop start jog circuit that we've uh, discussed before in the past and the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have it in edit mode. Now it defaults because I just started a new project. However, if I take it out of edit mode, you'll notice that my cursor now has a um, is not solid anymore. So I know that I'm no, no longer in edit mode. So edit mode allows us to actually create our software itself. And on the right hand side, I'll have my instruction toolbox. And that will give me a lot of my uh, features that I'm going to use. Today I'm just going to use some output coils and some contacts. So you'll notice also on the right hand side you'll see the F2 that we need um, in order to actually en enter that value. So here um, we'll start off our start stock by putting a, a normally open contact. So we'll hit F2 and the first thing that you'll notice that comes up is um, where we can enter our address here we can also um, look up what you what they call um, the address picker and you'll see that we have um, all of our addresses located here that we could actually choose from if we were unsure of what we actually are going to use. In our case here we're going to write in X0 and you'll notice that down here it actually calls up all of the inputs that I've used already so as to not duplicate anything and I'll just hit check mark okay and that puts it up on the screen you'll notice here that I have this yellow mark and that yellow mark means I have not accepted the rung yet so accepted means that um, it will look at the logic I just put in and determine whether or not it's uh, valid or not the next part I'm going to just move my cursor down to the next rung down we're going to put another contact here it's going to be Y0 and hit enter and we're going to have a normally close which is now going to be um, F3. We can also double click it over here and it will put it up for us. Y15, hit enter. Now in order to join this rung to this one you have to draw the line. To draw the line if you hit and hold the control key and then just use your up arrow key. It will draw the line for you. In order to delete that line, if you hit the control key and with the shift, and then we'll do the down arrow key, it deletes that line. So control, up key, puts our line in for us. And we'll continue with our logic. We need another uh, contact here, which is X1, which will actually be our stop. And then what we'll need is our jog, which we'll put down here. And again, F2, um, we'll put in the jog, which is going to be X2, enter, and then we'll join that up, control, and then the arrow key right, and then we'll join it up here. Then our output side, we'll look at our output bit coils, and all we want is an output coil right here. So we'll just double click it and we'll put that as Y0. Now that's it for that first line. The second line we'll go to at rug number two and we will put our jog circuit which or our jog push button which is going to be X2. And you'll notice down here again um, it, it actually uh, will call up what we have um, available to us. X2 we'll hit OK. Our output We'll actually put now uh, Y15. OK. 
Okay, and so that is our project. That's what our all of our instruction is. This is a start stop jog circuit. So I will now accept this um, and what it will do is actually it will look at it and ensure that my logic makes sense and that I can actually uh, utilize this this uh, circuit. So everything looks good and now I get a green um, line right here. Now the green line just means that I haven't saved my project yet. So let's save the project and we're going to save it as uh, we'll just say it's going to be our bricks start stop jog circuit and you see it saves it as a DMD extension for our bricks uh, do more um, PLC logic so we'll hit save and then we can enter uh, parameters in here that actually tells us um, about our project itself. So our description, I'll just put uh, ECC automation. And we can have version numbers, we have company names, etc. So we'll set OK. So now that's our completed program. You'll notice that it's very hard to read because I don't have any documentation. So what we should do is actually uh, do some documentation on this project before we actually uh, go too much further. And in order to do so, if we go to uh, the document editor, which is under tools, or you can hit control D, the document editor comes up. And what you'll notice is that without doing anything, it already knows that all of those rungs that I've accepted and changed, it says you don't have anything for it. That's what the asterisk means. You don't have any comments. So let's put some nicknames in for each one of these. That'll be my uh, start. X1 will be my stop. X2 is my jog. Uh, Y0 is going to be my output. And Y15, I'm just going to call that my work bit. Now, once I finished entering those, you'll notice that if I look back on my main program, now everything's documented. The other thing we can do is we can actually document the rung itself. If you highlight the rung and then we go to uh, uh, comment editor or control K, you can actually comment this first rung and we'll just call that uh, start, stop, jog, circuit. Hit OK. So there's our completed program and we can just hit save for that and now it's saved into our memory so everything's good. The next thing we want to do is actually connect to our controller. Now right now we remember we made this for our simulator so we can connect to the simulator and try that in the simulator but we have our controller here so let's go uh, PLC connect and then Here's the connections that we actually uh, did last time. So we'll connect through our USB. We'll select that. So the first thing it says, and this is important, is that um, there's differences from what's in their PLC and what we currently have in our project. So this basically compares it for us automatically and determines that there's something different. So we know that already. So let's go online and view the disk project. So we're online to the controller, but what we just created, we'll still view it. So we'll say OK. Now what it does is it will actually say that we have some pending critical changes. And the major changes that we have is that we've changed the CPU type from a simulator to our actual BRICS controller that we're going to be connecting to. And we're going to say yes, please continue. All right. And then our incompatibility mode, it now says, look, we're going to um, go online, offline compatibility. So what it will do is it will still connect online, but it won't do everything. And we'll show that in a second here. So we'll continue online. My uh, output down here says status has been disabled until do more designer and PLC memory uh, configuration compatibility is resolved. 
Now in order to resolve that incompatibility, we actually have to write the, the project into the PLC along with all the uh, configuration, etc. that we've, it comes with it. So if I look here up on my ladder, you'll notice that we now have a blue line here indicating that what's in our disk memory is not into our PLC memory. So what we'll do is hit write PLC. And then down here, it just says we're going to download projects into, into program mode. And then if we want to, we can switch back to run mode after download completes. We'll delete that blank right now and we'll just hit OK. So now it's writing the system. It's communicating, as you can see, with our information here. And now it basically says that we are the do more designer and PLC configuration is now compatible. So status commands are enabled. So here's my output here. And that's exactly what the rating says. So I'll, I can close that now down and we can take our motor of our PLC and we will now go back into our run mode. Hit OK. And now we're running our logic that we've just put in here. Our status indication, we can actually click them on. So this tells us the status of each of the bits that we see on our rung. All right, that's it for now. All of the links and downloads uh, can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. And if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find the information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video, or you can go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free eBooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.